The way a lot of us are taking in the web is changing fast, and it's all down to one of my favorite four letter words iPad. The iPad, and most tablets to be fair, offer a great experience for reading online information. Why slouch at your desk or hunch over your laptop when you can hold a wonderful slab of glass and metal and read in a more natural way? Because of the way the iPad can present information, just using the web browser isn't really the ideal way to consume content. Here are a few of my favorite apps to get my information fix. The Rolls Royce of iPad apps in terms of layout, presentation, and style is probably Flipboard. When you open Flipboard, you're prompted to add categories you'd be interested in, as well as some of your social media information, like Facebook and Twitter stuff. If you're using RSS, enter that as well. From there, Flipboard creates flippable content pages on your iPad. It integrates links, images, and text to create a virtual magazine in a literal way. What you'll want to do is flip the home screen and you'll arrive at the contents page. This is where you'll find boxes that let you add content. Just tap a blank box and scroll through the list of categories like history, pop culture, current events, and sports. You can select a cluster of related topics or an individual feed. When you see something you want to read more on, it expands. Easy as that. And you don't really have to know your RSS from your elbow to get a great experience from this app either, as there's more than enough fantastic content already there for you to add in with partnerships with many famous names already baked in. With Flipboard's layout, it really feels like a magazine. It can get information that can seem overwhelming, like a Facebook status page or Twitter feed, and make it feel familiar, and dare I say it, entertaining. Though that might depend on your friends and who you actually follow. That's your problem though, not Flipboard's. If we're talking information, we can't dismiss the mighty wiki. Wikipedia is a constant in many of our lives, and there are some great apps that use it really well, like Wikipanion. But for me, I like a little bit of sizzle with my wiki. Give me pretty, give me an iPad-friendly layout, give me Discover Wikipedia. All right, the name is a bit of a mouthful. It's actually called Discover Wikipedia in a Magazine. But hey, you gotta give them points for not leaving you guessing with the title, right? This is the way to read your Wikipedia in a way that you can expand your mind without drowning in miles of text. Two finger pinches to get to the table of contents and get to the juicy parts and tap and hold anything in the text to get links, definitions, and more. If even that seems like too much effort for you though, that's fair enough, as the iPad is here to follow your every whim. If reading hurts your brain, iPad shalt not judge. How about a Wikipedia that you barely need to read? Well, here's a quickie for you. And by quickie, I mean a Q-W-I-K-I, -I, of course. What quickie does is it makes a Wikipedia search into a little presentation. Say you want to type something in, like Green Lantern and it reads the entry back to you. Green Lantern is a 2011 American superhero film based on the DC Comics character of the same name. Just sit back and enjoy. You can skip ahead and go behind with its awesome interface. And if you see the little quickie icon on an image, you can click on it and go on another quickie detour. Merry Christmas to my eyeballs, Ryan Reynolds. You don't need an iPad to enjoy quickie either. You can go to quickie.com and use the interface as well. Though I gotta say, there's nothing quite like Quickie on an iPad. So, are we headed for a paperless world with apps like Flipboard replacing a lot of magazines and wikis leaving a lot of reference material in the dust? Well, some people may want to hang on tight to that newspaper, but I for one think the iPad is here to stay. I mean, who would have thought reading and learning could actually be this much fun?